As the Italian Prime Minister arrived in Sicily for an emergency meeting about the flood of Tunisian refugees landing on his shores, a personal crisis was erupting in Milan. The 74-year-old sent to trial for extortion and sex with a minor. Meanwhile, the girl in question, Karima El Maroug, also known by her stage name Ruby the Heart Stealer, is cashing in on her newfound fame, appearing in this marketing campaign for a self-help book. Prosecutors say she was 17 when she met Mr Berlusconi at one of his Bunga Bunga sex parties. Both she and the Prime Minister deny having sex, but he does admit giving her a car, a diamond necklace and $9,500 in cash. Once the trial starts, which is uh, April 6th, and once you start hearing the depositions of, uh, you know, the testimony of the various uh, witnesses and the girls who were in the uh, wiretapping and the conversation on the phone wiretapping, then, you know, if you start to hear something which is really embarrassing and difficult to handle, I think that that, uh, that, that could hurt the image of Berlusconi and uh, his, uh, his, his positioning as Prime Minister. Three female judges will also hear evidence about Mr Berlusconi's decision to telephone a police station to have Ruby released from custody on an unrelated theft charge. The PM denies he abused his position. He says it was all a misunderstanding, that he believed she was the granddaughter of the Egyptian president, whom he wanted to save from any diplomatic embarrassment. Berlusconi is a fighter. He has not given up in the past, even when he lost elections. He is unlikely to resign because that would be some sort of admission of his guilt. Uh, he's going to fight in the courts and he's going to fight in the, in the squares. He's going to try and demonstrate. He is going to use all his media. Notice of the trial was served just days after up to one million people took to the streets, calling for Mr Berlusconi's resignation. If he's found guilty, he faces 15 years in jail. Emma Alberici, ABC News.